Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. This old Troy built lawnmower is not cutting real well. Let's see if we can find out why. Okay guys, anytime you're going to work on the blade on one of these, go ahead pop off the spark plug wire because you don't want that thing kicking over when you're if you're spinning that blade around you don't want it doing you know even just a fire one time you know that could be bad now this thing she's had this for several years and she had this when we got together uh, we only use it like if something's wrong with a John Deere if it's down or something like that we had to use it a couple times because our John Deere uh, we had to uh, put new uh, spindle bearings in it and new blades and all that well while we was waiting on the parts uh, we had to use this my niece borrowed this a couple times when her mower was down it never did cut right it just kind of like laid the grass over let's see if we can find the problem okay guys I just flipped this thing up on its side I don't know if you can tell but I can immediately What is going on with this? Okay, you can see this cutting blade. You shouldn't see that. It should be on the other side. Now, if I pull this, pull the string, you're going to see which way this is turning. Okay. Okay, it's turning counterclockwise, right? Now. That's turning counterclockwise. It's going this way. That blade cannot cut. Someone has changed this blade at one time because it looks like when they did, this doesn't need sharpened. Let's get a closer image of that for you. See, that blade is fine. And the reason why it's fine is because it's cutting on the wrong side. So what we're going to do, I'm not even going to sharpen this. I might clean it up a little. I doubt it because it doesn't need it. So, what it's doing, it's cutting here. When it's spinning around, that blade should be going this way. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and take this blade off and spin it around. I'm not even going to sharpen it. It doesn't need it. it, put, it they put it on there brand new, but they put it on wrong. Let me get my gloves on. Be careful. I shouldn't have to tell you this. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. If you're not careful, that's your problem. <laughs> Hate to sound like an ass, but you know it is. People go, well, you need to put this, those disclaimers in there. No, I don't. I'm not showing you how to cut your fingers off. I'm showing you how to be careful. I love these things. Okay. Now this is the way it should go. Now see when it spins this way see how the blade will now be cutting the grass. So it sorry I couldn't show you how to sharpen it but when you do sharpen these I'm going to show you something. Only sharpen the sharp side. Do not sharpen both. Just take a little bit off of here. But I'm not going to sharpen that. It, it doesn't need it. I mean, I could clean it up with a wire brush or whatnot, but I think it'll be fine because it's technically never been used because it was on backwards or upside down or whatever you want to call it. Be careful when you're starting these bolts in. They are fine thread. And... You don't want to strip that out because if you do, you're going to have problems because that's the the main shaft there. So let's go ahead. That's all it takes. Do not over tighten it. Yours may vary, but as you've seen, this kind of pushed in. It's got pressure holding this bolt, and that's what's keeping it tight. Now yours may have an actual lock washer or something to that effect, some kind of locking mechanism on it. But I venture to say 
that that's all that was wrong with this little mower was they had the blade on backwards. Now when it spins, as you can see, it's a mulching blade, you know, so it's got it's all it's all covered up. But now as you can see the cutting edge will be coming around cutting the uh, the grass. And this end will actually be blowing the grass out. It also flips it up and recuts it as it comes back down. This is a mulching blade with mulching mulching mower. So there you have it. We figured out why this thing never did cut right. I'll bet it'll cut like a brand new one now because technically it's still a brand new blade because the cutting edge was never working. So sorry I couldn't show you how to sharpen that blade. I got everything out here that I was gonna that I was gonna use to sharpen it with, but it doesn't need it. I mean anytime you sharpen a blade you take metal off. And why take metal off if you don't have to? It Every time you sharpen a blade, it takes that much life off of it. I understand that every year, yeah, you have to sharpen it, or if you hit something, you have to sharpen it. In this case, it does not need sharpened. I'm not going to take the metal off of it um, when it doesn't need it. So there you go, guys. Just a quick, quick thing. Make sure you get that on the right way. Make sure you know which way it's supposed to spin and which way that blade is going. Uh, I would say take a good look at how your old one comes off but in this case if we would have went by that we would have put a new one on upside down or backwards whatever you want to say uh, so just make sure it's it's going in the right direction before you pull it off and then once you do put it back on make sure the cutting blade is on the side that's spinning well, the engine actually spins clockwise but down here it'll be turning counterclockwise get your light on here one way to tell is if it does spin this way when you pull that rope if it spins to the left make sure your cutting blade is on the left okay if it spins to the right make sure your cutting blade is going to the right so there you go guys just a quick tip for you and uh, Thanks for watching my videos, and please comment, rate, subscribe, check out my Patreon page, and uh, I'll chat at you guys soon. Hope you have a great weekend. So, take care, everybody. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye-bye.